So what Timini did in this film, in Tribe Called Judah, is who Timini is. And some persons will argue that after Bread of, after Bread of Life, mm -hmm. this is his best performance as an actor. Hello and welcome to It's a Wrap by Pulse, where we dive into the world of cinema. On today's episode, we'll be reviewing and predicting winners as regards some of the most anticipated categories at the upcoming AFVCAs. My name is Elvis Christian, and with me is our very own resident movie expert. Together, we will be reviewing and predicting winners as regards the AFVCAs. So grab your popcorns and let's get started. All right, let's jump right in. For the first category, we have Best Indigenous language film West Africa mm. and the nominees include Mami Water, CG, Obasi, Jagun Jagun, Femi Adebayo, Ijobon, Kunle Afolayon, Orisha, Oduna De Adekola, Nana Okoto, Kwabana, Gyansa. So what do we think about this category? Oh well let's start from the ones that I don't think I don't think should be in the category. I don't think Ijobon should be in the category. Um I think Ijob is pretty weak. I don't think it's strong enough to compete to the other Films in the category. Uh, My Mama Water is an excellent film. Um, you know, like you mentioned off air, it got, um, was the Nigerian submission for Oscars, but for some reason did not get nominated. So yeah, um, Jagu Jagu for one, I think a lot of work was put into Jagu Jagu. So I would easily go for Jagu Jagu as my option. But then there's a big chance, like you mentioned, that Mama Water would win just because of that metric, yeah. you know. But, um, I think I think efforts for Jagu Jagu should be applauded. Mm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So your pick is Jagu yeah Jagu Jagu. Jagu. But right. take 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 your job one out of it. <laughs> right. Shouldn't be there at all. All right. So yeah. the next category is best supporting actor. <laughs> Very interesting, fiercely contested. <laughs> uh, the first is uh, Alex Akubo for Our Family Funa. Mm. Demola Adedoyin for Breath of Life. Yeah. Itele the Icon for Jagun Jagun the Warrior. Mm. Gregory Ojefua, This Is Life. Mm. Timini Egbuson, A Tribe Called Judah. Levi Chikiri, Blood Vessel. Ropo Enuela, Over the Bridge. Let's go one after the other. Let me start from the list, right? Um, so I haven't seen all the films here, but yeah, I think Alex Kubo's performance in the family for is his best performance yet mm. as an actor. I think it was so natural. He didn't have to do a lot of stuff. And um, I think he, he, he killed the role he was given, you know, um, which is why he's my pick. But I don't think Timini should be on this list. Why? I mean, he's a good actor, but if it's based on a tribe called Judah, there are other guys that deserve this supporting lead thing compared to Timini. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the guy who played the um, Hausa brother, you know, did, did well. Timini did not exactly do anything special in this film. Mm. So what Timini did in this film, in Tribe Called Judah, is who Timini is. And some persons will argue that after Bread of, after Bread of Life, mm. this is his best performance as an actor. But if you're going to look at it based on the guy, kind of guys that you had in the film, I don't think Timini should even get that, um, you know, best supporting actor. Maybe um, Uzo Arukwe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Uzo was, uh, was nominated in the best lead actor, but Uzo Arukwe was should have been should have been the the the, the, the pick for this, mm -hmm. and not Timini. Timini's um, acting in a trial called Judah was very you know not not the not the greatest. Oh. Yeah, not not great enough to get a nomination as supporting actor. But he's still a good actor. Don't get me wrong. So yeah. So best supporting actor, your pick is Alex Akubo. Oh yeah, Alex Akubo, yeah. Uh, I, I think he did pretty well in Afima for now. Yeah. 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 I sort of agree, I agree. Yeah. Moving on to the next category, best supporting actress. Yeah. Uh, we have Joker Silva for Over the Bridge, mm. Fifia Williams for Jagun Jagun the mm. Warrior, mm. Bimbo Akintola for The Black Book, mm. Genoviva Ome for Breath of Life, Elian Omohire for Omen, mm. Tana Adelana for Ijobon Chaos, Ejiro Onajiafe, The Origin of Madame, so I'm not for I'm not for um I'm not for Tan I'm not for Jobo in any of this. I don't think Jobo should have ever made it to the MVCAs. Mm. You get me? Um I, I don't know how that happened, but yeah, it, it happened. But I think um it's gonna be between Bimbo Akitola and Genoveva. I think Genoveva did pretty well in Breath of Life. I think she's an excellent actor. Yeah. And I think she came correct. But I would I would give Bimbo Akitola as a sentiment. I think Bimbo Akitola is quite underrated and one of the best actors that we have in um in Hollywood, without a doubt. 
So, and um, even though they were display in Black Book wasn't a lot, you know, she, she didn't exactly have a lot of screen time. But um, the lead to that she did, she was able to fulfill her character to a great yeah. deal. So, yeah, um, being, being by Akita, like, um, Jokes, you with the bridge. Yeah, but I mean, I, I don't think OG should be in this conversation. Mm-hmm. Being back Akitala is also an OG, OG but yeah. compared to compared to Jacques Silva, I would I would go for being more, you know. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Ajiro, yeah. original man of Koriko. Well, I, I I had some issues with the film in general. So, yeah. so um, with Ajiro or not yeah. Jafar, she had just one very good scene. Yeah, I think it was a, where her character got raped. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. one powerful scene. So yeah. I'm like, is one scene enough? Yeah, I, I mean, so, so I mean, then yeah, I think it's it also begs the question. Let's understand the process. Yeah, how did they get these films? Or yeah. how did they get to nominate certain persons? Mm-hmm. Because if you're nominating someone based off just one film, one particular scene, scene. is that is that scene, scene strong enough or stronger than every other film that was submitted? So mm-hmm. I think we just need to understand the process for MVC selecting the films, they selecting the people they nominate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, Jen of Ever being black into life. Any of them wins, I'm good. Right. Yeah. So next category is best cinematography. For one, we have Mami Water, mm. Lily Suarez, Blood Vessels, Gideon Chuku, Over the Bridge, KC Opiagjulu, uh, Breath of Life by Ola Cardoso, Jagun Jago, The Warrior, Ado Lua Owu, Ijobon Chaos, your favorite, <laughs> <Adi Kunde. laughs> <That's my> favorite. <laughs> then we have Omen. What do we think about this category? Yeah, it still beats me how Ijobon makes it to most of the nomination, um, nominees. Uh, but, um, so, I mean, there's a lot. To, there's a lot involved in cinematography. You're talking shot composition. Um, you're talking lighting. You're talking color palette. You're talking emotional. Um, how how the picture conveys some certain type of emotions. And um, I would say "Breath of Life" by mm-hmm. Olakado. So, I think "Breath of Life" sort of conveyed the, a very strong emotion. And I think um, the setting was pretty well coordinated. Mm-hmm. And if you also, I think a lot of people commended the the, the picture, the work. And that's why I said um, yeah. I like the I like the, I like the use of face photography. You know, a lot of Nigerian cinematographers are used to wide angles, so you're either doing wide angles, close up, or all those things. They they don't explore more, you know, um, angles in filmmaking. You know, and and I saw a bit of that with Olaka Doso mm-hmm. in um, in Breath of Life, and even though even also Jago Jago with Captain Dex, it's it's a lot of work trying to shoot a film like Jago Jago. You get me? So. And shout out to Captain Dex, he's the guy from Tribe Called Judah with the DOP also. I think he's been getting his some good accolades, which is yeah. which I think he deserves. You know, so Jagun Jagu or um Breath of Life. Um I think the <laughs> other ones Mommy Water also, but yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. So three of them. Let's say three of them. Mommy Water, Jagun Jagu, and Breath of Life. Uh Mommy Water was Lilius yes. as, a, as a lady. So yeah. I mean I might be sentimental, it'd be like, let's give her, right? Yeah. Yeah, because it's a good word. But then, um, my movie, um, Dragon Dragon, or Breath of Life, any of them, any of the three of them take it. It's good. All right. Yeah. So, moving on to best art direction. Yeah. We have Blood Vessels, Victor Akban, mm. Over the Bridge, Abisola Omolade, yeah. Breath of Life, Okechiko Frost Wanko, mm. Kelechi Udu, The Black Book, Pat Nebo, and Chima Temple, mm. Dragon Dragon the Warrior, Tunji Afolayan, Nami Water, CJ Fieri Obasi. Omen Eve Martin. Um, first off, take Black Book, Black Book out of the conversation. For art there, there's nothing acting in Black Book, mm. right? It's very basic and regular. Um, if, if you're looking for effort, I think you would appreciate what was done in um, Jago Jago, and you would appreciate what was done in Breath of Life. Yeah. You know, you would appreciate how they made it look the way it came out. Yes. You know, it's also considering where it was shot and everything, you would see that it took, it was a lot of work into trying to depict Nigeria way back then, and Nigeria now. now. You know, from Adimola doing his character as young Wale Ojo, building up to the car that was bought by Sambasa's character, mm-hmm. to um, the house, to the car, to the, the church. Keys, yeah. You know, and art direction is factually everything. People might ask you, oh, where's the location? No, but art is basically the visual. Apart mm-hmm. from the camera work, there's a lot of things that go into art directing, and I think um, Breath of Life should be commended. Jago Jago also, like I said, what you're doing, it's like you're watching Woman King, man. It's a lot of work, you know. Yeah. It's a lot of work. So that's why I will, I will, I will keep saying Jago Jago because, I mean, it might seem underrated to a lot of people, but to make that kind of production in Nigeria is a lot of work. Difficult. Yeah, so yeah, you, you have to give it to whoever was responsible. I think it was Lola, but yeah, it was for that, yeah. 
All right, so let's move on to best cos- costume design. Yeah. Uh, we have a Demola Adeyemi for Over the Bridge, mm. Bonali Austin Peters, Ituambasi, Folakoka, and Clement Efanga for Fumilayo Ransom Kuti. We have Lola Aware for Dragon Dragon the Warrior, Bumi Demi Lola Fashino for Mami Water, Daniel Obasi for Breath of Life. Yeah, I think I think Mami Water had some good costumes. costumes. Yeah, I also think um I also think Bol- I mean, I mean Bolanle B B it by um Bolanle Austin Peters by she's used to she she understands the yeah. importance of costuming. Yes. If you've noticed if you're watching yes, the film, I, I have watched the Bling Lagos, Lagos, she does everything. So she she'll probably not have some difficulty in bringing that to a film. But again, costuming for a film like Jago Jago is a lot of work. Yeah. There's a new film from this film, Finding Messiah. Mm-hmm. If it, that film doesn't get costume of the year, oh. I wonder. I wonder what else. Maybe for 2025. Yeah. I'm seeing it now. I saw the trailer or the teaser, and that was Tiana yeah. um, Tony Lawani. Very grand. Also. It was good. If it was. Good. It was good. So yeah, costuming. It's it's a lot of work. It's a lot of money. So Jagun Jagun, Mami Wata. Also gonna give um Balanley's film. What's the name of the film? From again? Ransom. Yeah, yeah. From Lyra Ransom Kitty. I mean. Yeah, you would, you would, you know, you'd expect that she, she matches the era. era. You know, one, another thing, because watching Breath of Life, mm. I also sort of understood them using fashion to tell stories. Yeah, yeah. Because capturing 80s, early Nigerian yeah. fashion was very yeah. important, even yeah. down to people, extras yeah. around. So yeah. I do think Breath of Life used fashion to tell a very good story. Yeah, but but I, I don't think it was as detailed as these other films. Oh, okay. So if, if you're looking in rank, like one to four, I mean, Breath of Life might be somewhere three, four. Oh, but okay. you definitely, you see the Mami Waters, like you see, yeah, it won't be the one to four. Because Mami Waters' costume was yeah, yeah. almost, I don't want to reach for the stars, but <laughs> very Wakanda. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, that's the idea. You know, yeah. they, they did it intentionally for the Oscars. Sadly, they didn't get it, but... Yeah. Unfortunately. All right. So moving on to best scripture series, we have mm. Volume, we have Wura Season Two, mm. Slum King, Itura, and we have Chronicles. I think Wura is great. If you haven't seen Wura, you should probably go and see Wura. And I'm not marketing the film. I'm saying this because um, they have very intelligent writers. Yeah. You know, it's not easy. They have hundred episodes yes. season one. So the writers are. It's not easy to flow on stories like that. I kept on watching, thinking that this guy will probably just lose it at some point because when you keep stretching stories, it feels like you don't know what to talk it about again. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, some inconsistencies here and there, but it's a good, it's, it's a well-written story. Mm. So shout out to the guys at Wura. I think they did, or they're doing a very good job. Mm. Yeah. So now moving on to best unscripted series, mm. we have Lol Niger. Nightlife in Las Lol. Lol. L-O-L. L-O-L. The that, prime that prime video. Nah, see, yeah. bro. Okay, go ahead. It, nah. it was a mess. When you're done. <laughs> <laughs> it was a mess. Yeah. We have Nightlife in Las Gidi. We yeah. have The Real Housewives of Lagos Season 2. Yeah. GH Queen Season 2. Mutali Mwanza Unscripted Season 1. I mean, I would not... I, I don't know a lot of the non-Nigerian... Yeah. You know. First, take it with L-O-L. Yes. I, that was I, I such... Let me just be careful, right? They say I've been saying too much of things on social media. It was not good. So let's keep it there. Um, but, um, but Real Housewives of Lagos, I think, I think, I think it was fun to watch. Mm-hmm. And if it's unscripted or scripted. Unscripted. Yeah. I mean, it's, it obviously looked unscripted, yeah. right? I mean, the, the fights and everything. I loved it. It was entertaining to watch. Yeah. So yeah, um, I, I would give it to Real Housewives of Lagos. Yeah. I would. I think, well. I think it had a lot of buzz. So yeah. Also, Nightlife in Asgidi was, Cute soup. I don't even know what that is. It's ah, oh, I missed it. Sunki. Sunki. Sunki O. Oh, Sunki O. Yeah, it was his. Yeah, yeah okay, okay, okay. It was it was nice because we yeah. don't have a lot of. It's a, many times when we have reality TV, mm. it's either a competition yeah. or housewives. Oh, those right so Yeah, so yeah. it's nice to see something nightlife. Well, that's that's, that's fun, but I think real housewives will win it. Yeah, yeah me I, too. I, I, think, I think they will because it's yeah. a more packed. Production. Yeah, yeah. So let's move on to best director. Yeah. We have Moses Inwang for Blood Vessels. We have Adibayo Tijani and Tope Adibayo for Dragon Dragon the Warrior. BB Sasori, Breath of Life. Uh, John Scott Enna for Half Heaven. CJ Fieri Obasi for Mami Water. We have Kayode Kasum for Afami Funa. We have Tolu Ajayi over the bridge. Yeah, so I'm going to start from Kayode Kasum. Um, Afami Funa had some directing. Um, inconsistencies. Yes, I, even 
editing and continuity issues for those that actually saw a few. Maybe when we were doing the review, I'll talk about that. Yeah. So, yeah, Kelly Kasim has grown, right? Mm-hmm. As a director, I've seen him, you know, he's doing a number of films, cinema, Prime, Netflix, whatever. So I applaud him as a director. Mm-hmm. But if it's for this film, I don't think he'll get it. Um, we again, I think you mentioned Bread of Light, BB Shasura did pretty well. Mm-hmm. I think, I think is a very good direction. Right. You know, I think Jago Jago also it was a lot of work having to manage those sort of people and also the actions and the scenes and everything. It's a lot of work. So you need to commend the Adebayos for what they did for Jago Jago. Mm-hmm. Um, we again, C- uh, CJ Fieri Abbas. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. My mom's time, my mom's direction was good. Um, not everybody would understand it. Yes, it's not right. supposed to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's not the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, not, not, it's, not, it's not for everybody, even yeah. the. When you start watching it, you're already sleeping. Yeah. That's it's how like an indie film. you know, yeah. It's a slow burn, but yeah. it's not for everyone, like I said, but direction was good. You need mm-hmm. to give it to CGO Bass, he's been doing pretty well over the mm-hmm. years. So but yeah, for me, I would go for Mami Water, I would go for Jago Jago, I'll go for Better Life. This this three will probably get more awards than any other film mm. in this entire um, um sir, award. All right, so let's move on to best movie. Mm. We have Fumila Your Ransom. Let's not let's not go far, bro. Best movie is Breath of Life. Right. Right. Anybody wants to argue that, come to my DM. That's the best movie. I mean, a tribe called Judah. A tribe called what? Tri- nah, tribe called best. Judah is remar- like one can nah, say nah, nah. it's the highest gross in Nollywood. Don't make it the best. Time. Don't make it the best movie. Except you're saying metrics. Well, yeah. how, how you're calculating best movie is sales impact. Sales, but nah, best movie for Dami Dawson. Now this is not a general opinion because some people start getting emotional. Now best movie is Breath of Life. You're talking. How do you say best movie? I may not, re, re, I may not necessarily consider sales because mm-hmm. Funke's marketing line is different from yeah, Funke sort person. of goes on some very aggressive marketing for a film. Yes. And um, Breath of Life also did some, you know, some fair marketing. Maybe they had done more, they would have probably gotten, and I, it didn't go to the cinemas, it was on Prime, yes, right? Was, yeah. So you can't exactly compare the metrics for that sales, you know, because cinema and Prime, you don't. You can't even really tell. You can't really talk sales. Tell, you know, really sales. Strange. But you're talking cinematography. You're talking story. You're talking acting. You're talking direction. You're talking um, costume. You're talking all those things, man. Come on, spread of life. All right. Without a doubt. I and mean, if they don't get it, they they were robbed of it. Okay. I said it. Yeah. All right. So the category a lot of people have been waiting for was <laughs> best lead actor. Yeah. Uh, we have Wally Ojo for Breath of Life. Mm. Stan and Zer for Afami Fuda. Mm. We have Zark Zinga for Omen. We have Gideon Okeke for Egun. We have uh, David Ezekiel for Blood Vessel. We have Richard Buffet Damijo for The Black Book. We have Adi Di Meiji, I beg your pardon, Latif, Latif yeah. for Jagun Jagun the Warrior. We have Gabriel Afolayan for This is Lagos. Okay, so, I mean, sentiments. I'm a Gabriel Afolayan fan, right? Oh. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I think he deserves the award of Best Actor. I mean, maybe not for the film, but I think he yeah, deserves the award actor. for best of best actor. I think he's way, I think he's overdue. You mm. get me? Compared to every other person in the list. David in Blood Vessel is a young boy. He's still mm. coming up. I feel like he will get his chance. Not that he doesn't deserve, deserve to win, now, yeah. but, you know, it's just like the Oscars when you see when Leonardo won best actor for Revenant. I wasn't film enough for him to win best actor, but it was like, nah, if I don't give him now, I'm going to get like it again. Winner, yeah. Same thing for Cillian Murphy when he won for Oppenheimer. Up but it's right. like, right, if you don't give this guy now, you might not give you him again. Not, you get the so, US. so yeah, let me, let me bring the same structure to AMVCAs. Um, I think Gabriel should win it because, mm. um, but then I'm happy that it's not a voting category yeah. anymore. It is now people sitting down to actually like decide. Um, Wale Ojo in Breath of Life was impressive. I thought it was a supporting. Actor. Yeah, yeah. I I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really, lead. yeah. I'm, I'm really wondering why Chimeze wasn't wasn't nominated. Chimeze was robbed, and I'm going to say this category to the camera. Chimeze Imo was robbed. I think the best lead ca- actor category or best supporting actor category. There is no way you put uh, Ade doing not that they, not that it doesn't, but there's no way you put Ade doing ahead of Chimeze. In Breath of Life as best supporting actor, I agree. You get Adi Dunya had little or little or no speaking role. You know, Chime say, "Come on, bro! Like, why did you guys rob him, bro? Like, you just give him. I don't know, you know. But yeah. then again, Chime say deserved it. But Wale Ojo wasn't. It was impressive, but yeah, yeah. I mean, fair. I, I like him. He's a very great actor. I said it before. You know, 
Um, we against Stan Enzel was not. That was uh, you wouldn't be best actor for a film of that. I did like his performance in Avatar. Yeah, I, I, I felt think, like he he gave the best e- believable Ibo delivery mm. to me. I mean, well, I mean, it felt like the best person to play the character. Yeah, because yeah. every other person was speaking at him. We're learning the language, yeah. but it was so natural for him. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, but Stan is there. I, I don't think this film is the film that will get get him be, be, best actor. Mm. Maybe some other ones we'll do in the future. Um, but David, David did pretty well in Blood Vessel. Oh yeah, and it would be nice for him to get it. It would be something Maybe. unheard of. Yeah, yeah, it would be nice for him to get it. But so my my, my choice would be between Valerie David and Gabriel Afolayo. But Gabriel Afolayo number one. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Moving on to best lead actress. Yeah. We have Segi Lola. Ah, Segi. Segi Lola or Gidon over yeah. the bridge. Yeah. We have Lucy Debe, Omen. We have Omoni Dada for Asari Ade. I'm sorry mm. if I mispronounced that. Sorry, Asari Ade. Asari Ade. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. have Irita Doyle for The Origin of Madame Koi Koi. We have Adobe L. Debo for Blood Vessel. We have Evelyn Ili for Mami Wata. Kende Bankoli for Adire, Funke Akindili for A Tribe Called Judah. I mean, funny enough, uh, Miruti Doi did pretty well in Madame Kongo. Yes, I think I they gave her a character that wasn't the regular. Mm-hmm. She wasn't always bougie or not. And I think she interpreted it well. Mm-hmm. But I'll classify her as an OG who, you know, based off class, she probably not be in the category with these people. I think Adobe did pretty well in Blood Vessel. I'm, I'm really glad the direction for Blood Vessel was good. That's why I, I, when Moses. In one because Mrs. has done some very film, some shitty films. You get me that? <laughs> well, not shitty, but she feels that the direction was very bad. Direction was very bad. But I was really shocked with Blood Vessel because it did pretty well. So and he was able to bring the best out of the actors. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about the guy David and the lady Adobe. So yeah, um, it'd be nice to see Adobe get it. Um, I see Kenny Bankole. She might likely win it. Yeah, that's you know, just my pick. Um, for Adi Rare, she might likely win yeah, it. Sure. And you should also win. You know, if she wins it, I won't be surprised. You get me. And if she does, if she doesn't win. I will also not be surprised. But I feel like they might just give it to her. And um, I think you mentioned someone the early. Segi Lola. Segi, yeah, Segi is Segi is a fantastic actress. First off, first off, smiling, saying that. No, nah, no, nah. first, no, nah, nah. she's a fantastic actress. Maybe it's not just her time for this. Yeah. But I know that she's a fantastic actress. And to be honest, whoever wins in this category, you know, I think um, they deserve it. All the nominations, I think. Everyone on in in the list deserves it, you know, except from some, you know. But then shout out to the MVCs and shout out to all the guys who made the list. All right. Yeah. All right, let's move on to best makeup. We have Francesca or Otag- Tai Otag- for Over the Bridge. We have Campbell Precious for Mami Water, Hadizat Gambo for Mujisola, Hakim Onilogbo for Jagun Jagun the Warrior, Feishaya or ABC, a tribe called Judah. I don't see why Tribal Gojira is nominated here. Yeah, yeah. You see, this is one of the some of the inconsistencies yeah, that we keep talking about. <laughs> what is what is the makeup about the Tribe called Judah? I said you're talking about the part when they went to rob the guy and the thing they wore. Maybe that's that's what, more that's what they meant. I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, well, Mami Wata had some good makeup on it. Um, Jago Jago also, Akim Effect is one of the best SFX, SFX guys. In Nigeria, if not the best, or the number one. Yeah, so uh, Jago Jago or Mami Water for me. All right, let's move mm. on to best writing TV series. Mm. Skinny Girls and Transit Season 7, Wura Season 2, Visa on Arrival, MTV Sugar Niger, Volume, Masqueries of Aniedo, Slum King. Mm. No shade, but I think Skinny Girls and Transit needs to take like a break. Or stop. Yeah, just immediately. Just like, you know, just chill. Take a, take a deep breath and you know. Yeah, yeah, just chill. Um, what which other one? There's uh, Wura. Visa on Arrival feels very unscripted. No, no, yeah, Visa on like Arrival is skin. is good. I like it, but I like the direction. Yes, whatever the direction is, is giving the actors very easy, um, you know, conversations and dialogue. So it makes the writing looks. Oh, this is good because mm-hmm. Tammy Song is amazing, Bobby is amazing, Worry Girl is amazing, Sophia is amazing, Worry Pekin. They are they yeah. all. You get me? So, yeah, I think the perfect blend. Shout out to the casting director. Um, this Wura, Wura for me is the best writer. Yeah, writing. yeah I think, I think, and you're still writing. Mm-hmm. You're still writing. So, yeah, shout out to the guys of Wura. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to best writing in a movie. Yeah. The Breath of Life, BB Sassari, Over the Bridge, Tosin Etu Deco, yeah. Fumilayo Ratsam Kuti, Tundi Babalola, Jagun Jagun the Warrior, Adebayo Tijani, Afami Funa, 
Anyawu Sandra Adora. We have a tribe called Judah Olufunke Oyetunde Akindele, Collins Oko Akenabi Ishola, Mami, uh, then we have Mami Water CJ Fieri Obasi. Yeah, I mean, not sure if tribe called Judah should be in the best writing category. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think the story is not. Nah, the story is not like strong enough. Mm -hmm. You get me? It's not strong enough. Forget the money he made. The money he made was the buzz, right? Mm -hmm. People just love. It. Yeah, I mean, not to discredit the work, but you know, the story is not strong enough wow. for me to give it best writing. This is me now, my opinion. Um, I think Bread of Life has some good story in there. I think the message was clear. Mm -hmm. I think the purpose of the film, the, the purpose of the film was established to the very, very last scene. Um, and I think there's another one you mentioned, um, Jago Jago. Yeah, right? another one, yeah. Jago Jago had a good story. I'm really looking forward to a sequel um, that probably starts with Ibrahim Chatter from the way it ended. And um, what else again um, for best writing? For best writing, we also have uh, Afami Funa. Well, I mean, the writing might have been good, but the interpretation did not make it look good. Yeah, I don't, yes. Yeah, I mean, the writer, that's why little writers want to want to make their films. They don't want to write films and give directors anymore. Because they write a very good film and directors just... Yeah, because like, uh, Breath of Flight, the same writer, same director. Same writer, same director. Yeah. Yeah, so most times they want to do their films. Yeah. If it's your film, it's your vision. Yeah. So you interpret it the way it is in your head. But if you, if, you, if you take your vision to give someone else, bro, it will never be the same. Mm. Yeah. So after going through the nominations, who are the categories of your pardon? Who do you think will be the biggest, you know, winners? I mean, call us the prophet of Nollywood, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know what I'm saying? Um, biggest winners, Breath of Life, um, Mami Water, Jago Jago, in no particular order. So yeah. one might get more than the other, but three of them will probably get, they will obviously get more than one award. Mm -hmm. I see that happening. Um, yeah, yeah, three of them. So yeah. what do you think would be their best losers? Biggest losers? Yeah. Why do you call it best losers? Make it sound cool. Yeah, I mean, you win some, they're razzies. <laughs> biggest loser, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Ijo was it's good to be a big loser. Oh. First, you should not even be here. You better for you not to be here. Now, for you to be here, I know me. You know, get me so Ijo was good to be biggest loser for me, Jogbo, and a tribe called you that because a lot of people were expecting that they win stuff. Oh, I, I would expect it. Yeah, you would, but you'd be disappointed because they probably would. I, I'm not sure of what which award they would go home with, I was, except as a voting category, mm. and they're nominated. Then the they fans, have the balls for the fans. Votes. I mean, yeah, you know, she can mobilize that. The fans would probably go and do that. But if it's not voting, if it's based on a jury. like a jury of experts, nah, bro. Okay. No, no, they're not gonna get it in anything. All right, there you have it. These are predictions for the upcoming AMVCAs. Do you agree with us or not? Please let us know in the comment section. Uh, do watch the AMVCAs to find out if our predictions come true. I've been Elvis Christian, and it's a wrap.